Venezuela. The country's military has kicked off a two-day drill this weekend across the country. It comes at the heels of new U.S. sanctions and President Donald Trump's warning of military actions against the Caracas. Warplanes, tanks and 200,000 troops of the National Bolivarian Armed Forces have been deployed along with 700,000 reservists and civilians. In the Caracas Military Academy, soldiers taught civilians how to use their weapons and supervise them on obstacle courses. Juan Carlos Lamas reports. The Venezuelan government is staging what it's calling the biggest show of strength the country has seen. According to Defense Minister Vladimir Padrino López, warplanes, tanks, more than 200,000 troops and 700,000 reserves and civil militia have been deployed across Venezuela. He told troops at a base near Caracas the exercises are for the defense of the country and against imperial aggression. Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro ordered at the nationwide military drills after U.S. President Donald Trump threatened to use military force to restore democracy in Venezuela. On Friday, the Trump administration imposed new economic sanctions on Venezuela. They prohibit U.S. banks from making new deals with the government or with the Venezuelan state oil company. The sanctions are intended to remove a crucial source of funding used by President Nicolás Maduro's government. Maduro said Venezuela is a democracy that has been misrepresented by Washington and the media. He says difficult times are ahead and called on citizens to remain strong since, quote, Venezuela will not longer be the U.S. backyard. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGT in Caracas.